In this scenario, the patient is a young boy with ADHD. He has come in with his mother to the clinic on Virginia's Eastern Shore for follow-up and medication management. The mental health provider is on the telehealth call from Norfolk, over an hour sure. away. So, Miranda, your next patient is Mrs. Andrus and Mark. Oh, Lord. Okay, so he has come seven times and she has not done anything or been consistent with Miranda. anything that I've asked of her. Hello? She's still... Hello? Hi. Hi, how are you? Can you hear me? Can you guys see me? We can. Yeah, we can. Miranda, this is Miss Artis and Mark here for their telehealth appointment. Can Hello. Good to see you again. Yep, good to see you as well. Hey, Mark. Hi. How you doing? Doing fine. Yeah? Yeah. Better than last week or the week before that? Mom, how are things going at home? Has he been taking his medicine? Um, still really fidgety, really agitated, not doing well in school. So, you know, I'd really like to get this medication working if we can do that at all possible. Yeah. Are you giving it to him consistently? Yeah, of course I am. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, are do you have any advice about what we should do? Yeah. I don't think this is ever going to work. I mean, it's not like this lady even likes me. And the fact that she's got flowers growing out of her hair, please. I've been here seven times. She hates me. I hate this place. I don't know why I go here. Oh my God, Mark, where did he go? Okay, you He's have gone. to go find him. He just ran I'm gonna out of the room. I don't even know where he went. I don't know where to find do. him. Okay, I'm Norfolk. No, I need Chinkatig. So, Miranda, your next patient is Mrs. Anderson Mark. I believe this is their seventh visit with you. Yes, it is. Okay. Yep. Hi. Hey Miranda, I have Miss Andrus and Mark here for their telehealth appointment. I've already gotten their telehealth consent and everything. Can you see, hear us? Yes, I can see and hear you. Can you see and hear me? Yep, we can. Okay, and you guys have given consent? Yes. Okay. So, um, I think have a number here, an emergency contact for Shinkatig. Um, is that correct? Um, yeah, it, I filled it out on the paperwork. Yes, the number you have should be good. Okay. And Mark, I can't see you. Can you move in a little bit? There you go. Hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm fine. Where are you? Um, I'm, I'm in Norfolk, and you guys are in Chincoteague, and we're using this to communicate. Is that okay? I don't, what, I don't, ugh, forget it. Plant growing lady, who's not even here? I thought I was supposed to be at a doctor's office. He just stormed out. Where did out. he go? He just did he left. Go? I don't know where he went. Okay. He got his backpack Okay, on. you. Go find him. I'm going to call the emergency contact number, okay? okay? Just go find him. All right. Okay, 911, Chinkatig. So, Miranda, your next patient is Mrs. Anders and Mark. Okay. I believe this is your seventh visit with them? Yes. Hey, Miranda. Hey, Gracie. I have Ms. Andrus and Mark here for their telehealth appointment. Okay. And okay. I've explained to Mark how this telehealth appointment will work and what telehealth is. And I've both I've gotten them from their consent and all of that. Can you see and hear me? Yep, I can see and hear you. Can you see and hear me? Me? Yes, ma'am. So here they are. Hi there. Hi guys, how are you? How about you? I'm doing well. Hey Mark. Hi, can you really see me through the tiny little camera on top of this? Yep, I sure can. Wow. So we can talk. Um, oh, go ahead. Before we start, I have an emergency number for 911 in Chincoteague. Is that the number that okay. you wanted me to call in case anything happens? That would be great, yeah. Thank you. All righty. So we can talk about medicines and behaviors and stuff this way and it still counts? Yep, and you don't have to make the trip all the way to Norfolk. Huh, it's
It's like FaceTiming 2.0. I can go to the doctor without going to the doctor. A behavioral telehealth consult requires even more attention to distractions and annoyances that may upset the patient. At the beginning of this scenario, the provider doesn't pay attention to the webcam to notice the patient and his mother entering the room as she talks about them with a hot mic. Not a good start. A full explanation of what telehealth is and how it works to both the young patient and his mother in this case, along with a completed consent form, are critical here. In a behavioral consult, make sure you get a local emergency contact number to call in case the patient runs out, like Mark does in the first two scenes, or there is some other behavioral crisis. And, as in all telehealth consults, confirm that both parties can hear and see each other. In the A case, the setup by the remote site provider takes place before Mark and his mom are seated. Fashion trends often conflict with what works best on a telehealth consult. Miranda's blouse is a bit revealing in the worst scene, and the six rings and five bangle bracelets are distracting, so dress more conservatively and limit jewelry. One of the biggest distractors is Miranda's incessant playing with her hair. People tend to look at themselves in the screen and primp, learn to curb your habits and big hand gestures during a session. And to Mark, her ADHD patient, he can't get past the flowers growing out of her head, so make sure there's nothing distracting in the background. Oh, Lord. First rule of thumb in your verbal communications, do not talk about the patient with a hot mic. Microphones should be muted until the encounter starts. And pay attention to the start of the session. In the first scene, Miranda's words and tone of voice are insincere and challenging, just like you'd use empathetic and compassionate words for an in-person visit. Follow the same rules. In the first two scenes, the provider offers no advice to the mother or comforting words to the patient. In the last scene, the provider successfully engages the patient to talk about the technology, so he understands it. Maintaining good eye contact can help you avoid other nonverbal communication errors during a telehealth consult. So adjust your eye gaze between the camera and the screen. The computer should be deliberately placed at a level that assists with this type of gaze. Empathy isn't very evident in the first scene. Miranda doesn't connect with Mark or his mother. In the successful scene, Miranda smiles and leans in and puts them both at ease. Whenever there is a risk that a patient may become upset, run out, or even display self-harm, make sure you know the emergency procedures and have the contact information for the local first responders, not where you might be located. In the really bad scene, both the mother and the provider panic when Mark runs out remain calm to avoid further escalating the situation. By the end, Mark is pretty fascinated with the whole telehealth thing. No, I can go to the doctor without going to the doctor.